since we have seen all the characters in the previous video, we have seen all the characters, right? All the characters that you can use in C programming language, right? And we have seen them to be of different types, right? And we have also seen that ASCII is what uh, C uses to encode each of the characters or symbols. Now, what about words, right? Because words are basically combinations of characters, right? What all types of words are, are valid in C? There are broadly speaking two types of words that you'll encounter in C. One of them is called keywords and the second one are called identifiers. Okay. So let me let me just walk you through each of them. Okay. Let's start with keywords first. So keywords broadly speaking are, are predefined. So for example, let me give you an example, right? So there are 32 predefined words. Okay. There are 32 predefined words in C. There are 32 predefined words in C that you cannot use for any other purpose. For example, uh, we have seen if else conditions, right? So if is a predefined word, you cannot use it. You cannot use the word if. Remember, if is a word because it is a it is a combination of two characters I and F. But this has a special meaning in C, which is used if you want to make a choice. Similarly, else, else is a keyword or a predefined or a pre-allocated word, which you cannot use for anything except in the if-else context. Okay. Similarly, for is a keyword, right? Similarly, int is a keyword. Similarly, char is a keyword, right? So all these are keywords, which are predefined words in C, which have special meaning, right? They have special meaning. They have special meaning and you cannot use them except in that context where they are valid. Okay. So let's look at all the 32 predef again, we'll go through each of these words. We'll learn what for does. We'll learn what int is. Okay. There's something called as while that we, that we did not see in the overview section, right? So we'll, there, there are a bunch of these 32 predefined words and each of these words, we will learn them in the context. So we'll learn about while the keyword while when we learn about loops, right? So, so there is also a keyword called include. Okay. So we learn about this keyword include when we learn about uh, uh, header files and things like that. Okay. So the best way to know this 32 predefined keywords is Google search, right? Just simply Google search for them. Okay. So I, as usual, as I told you earlier, I just go to Google and I say, I just go to Google and say keywords in C. If you just Google search for it, there's a nice Quora answer here. And these are the 32 keywords that are predefined in C. They have special meaning like auto. Again, each of these words we will see. I told you about int, right? I told you about if. I told you about for. I told you about uh, while, right? So all these are predefined keywords in C, right? All these are predefined. So char is also a predefined keyword in C. What else did I say? I said int, else, if. Where is if else, if is here, where is else, else is here, right? So all these, so there are 32 keywords. So whenever you hear the, whenever somebody uses the word keyword, it means these are words which have predefined meaning and we learn all of them, by the way. Okay. We learn all of these 32 keywords through the rest of the course. I don't want to just tell you what auto means, what break means right now without the context, because then you will not be able to appreciate it, right? So we'll go through each of these in the context when they arrive. Okay. But there are, it's important to remember that these 32 predefined words have special meaning in C and you cannot use them except in that special, uh, uh, especially except in the context in which they're supposed to be used. Okay. Then comes identifiers. Now, what are identifiers? See, we have defined variable names, right? So if you remember, we have defined variable names. Okay. We defined lots of variable names in the, in, in some of the simple programs that we've seen earlier. Right. We've also defined a function. If you recall, we have defined a function called ease prime. Okay. We have defined a function called ease prime, right? We have defined some variables like a, i, etc. Okay. In some of the simple programs that we have seen earlier in the overview chapter. So now identifiers are words that we use for variable names, function names, and many other things. We'll learn about other things as time progresses. Okay. But in general, an identifier is a valid word in C, okay, which you can use as a variable name or a function name, 
there are things called structures arrays we'll come to that little later okay there are other things also apart from variables and functions okay so what can an identifier be okay so an identifier there are a bunch of rules for identifiers let's let me explain each of them with some examples okay what can what can be an identifier okay the first thing is the first rule is identifiers con consists of only alphabets identifiers consists of only alphabets only one special symbol called the underscore symbol the symbol is called the underscore symbol only one special symbol is allowed and all the digits are allowed and all the digits are allowed okay this is the first rule the second rule says that it has to start the first character the first character in an identifier the first character in identifier needs to be an alphabet again when i say alphabet it could be uppercase or lowercase it could be an alphabet or an underscore it cannot be a digit okay so that's that's the second rule again these are rules defined as part of the c programming language and it cannot be a keyword you cannot use keyword as an identifier or in other words you cannot use if as a variable name or you cannot use for as a variable name so you cannot use keywords as identifiers okay the fourth thing is they are case sensitive let me explain what what i mean by case sensitive okay they are case sensitive upper case and lower case sensitive suppose if i have a variable a b c let's assume this is a variable all three lower case this is different from a b c okay if i say a b c equal to 10 and if i say a capital b c equals to 20 now if i print a b c if i print a b c i will get 10 if i print a capital b c i'll get 20 so they are case sensitive so as see a b c even though it has the same a b c the small or lower case b is different from upper case b okay similarly if you have capital a capital b capital c right so if you have three variables a small a or lower case a b c lower case a upper case b lower case c or all upper case there are three different Uh, identifiers and that they become three different variables so all identifiers are case sensitive okay very very important the next concept is the length what is what can be the length of the word what can be the length of an identifier okay this is actually compiler or implementation dependent this is actually compiler or implementation dependent okay there is no fixed way to say okay that the length of the identifier should be less than equal to this some of the older compilers some of the older compilers only used to take eight characters in a given word they only used to allow eight characters but there is a, there is a standard called as ansi standard okay which stands for american national standards institute which has defined a bunch of standards and they have also defined so there is something called as ansi c which stands for it is a standard defined as per american national standards institute okay so most compilers most compilers most compilers and most implementations of c stick to ansi c standard okay ansi c standard says that we we, we should we should respect the identifier length to be 31 characters and not 8 characters right some of the older implementations used to use only Uh, used to have used to only recognize identifiers with eight characters or fewer but ansi standard says let's use 31 characters because we'll have more variable names we'll have more we can do more stuff with 31 characters than with eight characters and most modern compilers of c most modern compilers will will respect the identifier length to be 31 characters okay so beyond 31 characters you are not guaranteed you'll have to go to the compiler so for example i said we will be using gnu c compiler right so someone else could be using visual studio compiler which is a compiler or or which is which is basically a tool from microsoft okay there there is something called as a borland compiler right all these are c compilers that different companies or different institutions have written gcc being one of the most popular okay so if you want to know exactly how many characters for an identifier are valid in gcc you will have to go and read the documentation of gcc but most modern compilers will respect 31 characters so try to limit your identifiers 
to 31 or fewer characters in general okay so now, now let's look at some examples some let's look at some examples of invalid let's look at some simple examples of invalid identifiers okay let's look at some invalid identifiers for example imagine if i have okay let's let's take a bunch of examples right so imagine if i have a b c space x y z is this a valid identifier no because see we can only use alphabets underscore or digits we are using a space here we are using a space here space is not valid right so this is not a valid identifier okay so number one so if you think of other cases right if you have let's say a b exclamation mark c d this is also not valid because exclamation mark is not valid on the other hand if i had a b underscore c d this is valid because i'm only using alphabets underscore and digits but here i'm using a special character and hence this is not valid let's take an another example right imagine i have 2 a b is this valid no it's not valid because it says the first character needs to be an alphabet or an underscore while this is not the first character here is a digit so this is not valid okay similarly if I, if if i is is if an identifier no if is a keyword okay you cannot use if as a variable name right because if here we said you cannot use a keyword right so these are some of the simple rules on how to write an identifier and all the words in c programming language that you'll encounter are either predefined keywords or user defined identifiers most identifiers are actually user defined most identifiers are user defined or compiler defined right well keywords are standard you cannot touch keywords they are fixed they are like written in stone okay you cannot change them so broadly speaking these are the rules and these rules you'll get used to okay these these rules are very very important because if you make a mistake if you try to define a variable name like this it the c, any c compiler will not accept it it will start throwing errors okay so these are very simple rules and by the way as you code more and more you'll get used to this as you make mistakes suppose you try to define a variable like this you'll soon realize that i should not do it because the compiler will throw an error or if you try to create a variable called if or a function called if it will start throwing errors 